Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited to show you today's video. We are working on a 2022 4369 today. This is a fantastic RV, the most popular Dutch Star in the segment. And also the Dutch Star is the most popular RV in the United States. So this is a double bonus. Um, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. I work here at Trans West in Frederick, Colorado, one of our four RV shows, and I can be found on YouTube at RVs Inside Out. You can also find all of our videos with all of our fantastic presenters at TTTRV uh, on YouTube as well. And we do a live video every day, Monday through Friday, three times a day, one on a truck, one on a trailer, and one on an RV. So as usual, Jody, please take her on back. Let's start from the inside out. And I'm gonna close that front door because it's gonna be a balmy 100 degrees today here in Colorado. And it is a scorcher. Now you'd never know it, especially given um, the fact that I've got the generator running. So this is a 10 kilowatt generator. I know I'm standing here in the front of the cab as Jody walks back, but you can barely hear it. But one of the benefits of that generator is it's more than adequate to, to run all three of the air conditioners that you find on this unit. Now. This is a really special unit because in all honesty, coming in towards the close of 2022, we haven't had a lot of available inventory. So to have an available 4369 allocated to us by Dutch Star, or by Dutch Star, by Numar, is such a gift um, that when we had the opportunity to build this coach, we just put everything on this RV. Now today's stock number is 5N210858, again 5N210858. And this is the sable uh, interior. And what I really like about this is, is this is the matte finish. So we usually have the high gloss. It's really nice to show you how decadent this can be in the matte finish. And what's cool about this is it's very, very, uh, you know, attractive from a luxurious standpoint, very tuxedo. It really accentuates all of the fantastic uh, decor that you have here. So here on the interior, we have the Bahama decor. And what's so nice about the Bahama decor is look at how lovely this Corian countertop is. I love the color of this very, very modern backsplash. The dark faucets with the dark handles are just beautiful. Um, as you can see here, we have really fun, very modern uh, vanity lights. And then in our typical Dutch star fashion, we have all of our carpet lined shelves, tons and tons of medicine cabinet space. And on the other side, we have another full medicine cabinet. So a lot of space in here. So this model is a bath and a half with uh, two uh, bathrooms and uh, two sinks in the rear. So you've got a his and her sink. You've got 110 outlets flanking either side. You have a ton of storage capacity underneath. And all of these, um, all of these drawers, as you can see, are nice full extension soft clothes. Uh, you've got tons of drawer space. Uh, and so four drawers there, and again, more storage. And then over here, I'll show you something. We don't always talk about everything in these videos we try, but you see that says Aquamizer light. So first of all, here's your control center. You can set your ceiling lights to high or low. So if you want a little more dim, you could do a dimmer. If you want brighter, you could do brighter. You can also turn the switches off altogether so they're not even on. So at night, they're not glowing. But this Aquamizer light is one of the cool things in this coach, and I'll show it to you in just a moment, but that's where it's controlled. And then as you can see, you've got your rain sensing fan, you've got high, medium, and low. That of course is located above the toilet, but before we get there, let's take a look at this closet. So this is one of the reasons that the 4369 is so popular. Jody, if you can get on back here on the left-hand side, take a look at all of this shelving, this really deep floor, tons of room for storage. And then we have the optional shoe shelves on the back wall. And as you can see, there's a whole shelf here above the top. And then even more shelves on the right hand side. And you can see back there, we also have the optional safe. And this coach is also equipped with the optional heated floors. Uh, so even this rear zone is heated and the engine cover here below my feet is also heated. So as you can see, 
proportionally where you're standing when you come into the bathroom in the morning, if this wasn't heated, it could be quite cold. So they actually have figured out how to even heat this space. Um, I love that you have a little cabinet here. As we all know, it's really nice to have a place to reach over and get an extra roll of toilet paper. And then just behind this door, you'll find our egress door here as well. And what's also cool about this is we've got a remote control for shade control, but you have power MCD shades throughout. So you have shade control here in the bathroom. So if you forgot to grab the remote so that you could put your Dometic shades down, you would actually be able to control your MCD shades uh, here by switch. And that's just a really smart thing because at, you know, at the end of the day, if you think about it, if you're down here taking a shower and you forgot your remote, you don't want to necessarily go back in the bathroom. Um, so we're going to open up this little door here. So this is your escape hatch or your egress door. Behind this uh, magnetic cover, there's a stairway that deploys. And you can use that to not only get in and out of the coach in an emergency, but it's a great location to be able to load and unload your uh, towels and linens while you're, getting, um, while you're getting ready to go camping. Now, one of the things that I wanted to cover today is here in the, in the shower. So first of all, the 4369 has the biggest shower. Take a look at all of this room. This is so nice. So really, really big shower. And as I mentioned, we have every option, even the assist handle. Um, and these cathedral ceilings that you see here, so you can kind of see, especially with this beautiful sable wood finish, the way that you've got this arc. So you've got this um, beautiful vaulted ceiling. And the cathedral ceiling in this coach is really one of the things that differentiates the Dutch star from the Ventana. Um, an all tile floor is also something that differentiates the Dutch star from the Ventana. So we'll go through the coach today and talk about a lot of things because those are really close sister coaches. Um, this is going to be much more uh, of a luxury coach for some of these little features like this big cathedral ceiling because as you can see here, when I raise my shower head, I can get this way up here if I'm tall. So for a tall fellow, the Dutch star is going to be your best friend. And then as I mentioned earlier, we're going to talk a little bit today about the Aquaview shower saving system. So that little light control controls the light that's right here. And if we turn that on, let me just go ahead and pop that, you'll see it turns blue. And what happens is when it turns red, it means your water's hot. Now, it does, the light doesn't turn on and off. It doesn't have anything to do with the light switch over there. What it has to do with is here. So this is now set to recycle. And what that does is it takes all of that uh, cold water that's coming out of your 105 gallon freshwater tank. And instead of putting it into your gray water tank, it puts it back into that freshwater tank. And what's nice about that is it does that until your hot water heater, your tankless hot water heater has had the ability to heat your hot water. Now you can heat your, your water with a single burner filament on AC1, a dual filament on AC2, or the burner system. So you can get really hot water in this coach and you've got three different levels of heat. But what's really nice if you use the burner system, this will turn red really quick. You can go ahead and get in the shower and you haven't wasted that gray water space that you have in your gray water tank. Now, the other thing that's optional in here, and that I think most people probably feel like it's standard, is this teak bench. The teak bench holds 220 pounds. It is really nice to be able to shave your legs, wash your feet at the end of a long day. And then some other features that I really like are I really like the fact that we have this great, I'll just put this up for us, Jody. Uh, we've got this great shelf here where we can keep our shampoo and conditioner and it's not going to fall out while we're in motion. We also have another one down here for a soap dish. Maybe um, his and hers shelves. I would, of course, get the one that's on top because I'm going to be uh, in the shower longer than anybody else in the entire household. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Ask my boyfriend. Apparently, I can use like 70% of our gray water tank in just one shower, which is a, quite a feat. I'm not a military shower person, I guess. Uh, here is one of my other favorite features, the robe hook. Love that. Another thing I really love about this RV is the fact that your washer and dryer um, which is a Splendid stackable. You've got your dryer on top, your washer down below. Um, I love that you've got like a quick setting for like lightly soiled uh, to save water. Um, you've got, you know, some really nice features about this washer and dryer. But the thing that I think is so nice about this is that this is right off of your bedroom. So, you know, when you get your stuff out of the dryer, you can just throw it on the bed, sort the clothes, fold everything. Really, really nice feature of this RV, just the location of that dryer uh, to the bedroom. So now that we're going to leave this fantastic uh, rear bath, let's go into the, the most important room in the house, the king size bedroom. And when I say king size bedroom, 
One of the things that we get with a Dutch star that makes this coach so unique is this more floor. So as you can see, the whole way down here, we've got this strip on the floor. That is because this entire slide, the whole way down, is a full wall slide. So not only do you have a bedroom that pops out here on the left, this is not a quad side, this is three slides, but with that whole wall sliding out, you have so much room here in this bedroom. And one of the things I wanted to make sure we covered today, uh, this coach has, of course, the optional sleep number mattress. So his and her side as well. You can inflate that. You might be a three, he might be a nine, who knows? But you can both be comfortable. Um, but tons of storage underneath here. But most importantly to me, I love the way these nightstands are set up. So you, if you have a CPAP machine, I've heard that you should have it at your heart level and not higher. So instead of putting it above the bedroom, there's a ton of room back here. Um, and I actually just went shopping for uh, containers to slide back there. There's so much space. Um, another great place, if you don't have a CPAP machine, uh, we've decided we've gotten shoe boxes so we can actually put our hiking boots on either side of the bed, store them, so not taking up the shoe closet in the back. Now you'll note here that there's a uh, two 110 outlets as well as two USB ports. And so what's nice about that is if you did have your CPAP machine running, there's a place where you could still have this cabinet closed and have your cord going through. And that's also designed so that you can have your uh, phone charger plugged in. It can come out of this little hole up top and it goes right next to your bed stand. Uh, now you'll note here that in uh, the under bed storage, there's a ton of room once again I've been out shopping for plastic boxes uh, to put different storage down here. Uh, we keep our broom here, we keep our mop underneath, um, but it's been really, really interesting to see like, so I have a bunk model, we keep extra bedding and pillows underneath here. The storage capacity is so great, but this coach has another huge luxury. And I do have one of the table leaves uh, out in the cab for us to take a look at in the galley, but you've got two additional chairs here. So you can very easily sit, uh, sit six people in your um, in your dining area in this coach and that's where they have the extra two chairs and extra two table leaves now once again oh sure i've got a quite i've got a question i've got a second go ahead what's the question jody what kind of fan is in the bathroom to remove moisture after a shower oh right here so you've got a fantastic fan and it's run by Dometic. It's, it's dometic and you actually can go ahead and turn it on and I'll go ahead and set it to high. So the question was, what kind of fan do you have in the bathroom? But you have one of these in uh, the kitchen and in both bathrooms. So really nice moisture saving. And this is a rain shower and that's set to high. So it actually is a great feature, not only for running uh, to keep the moisture out of your coach after a shower, but also um, to get the hot air out of the coach. I actually turned them on today when I got in here just to pull the hot air out and get the air conditioning a little bit uh, of an advantage. Oh, and Jody, you know what? I wonder if I can have you come back. Yeah, do you mind? So thank you for that question. Feel, feel free to ask any others. Um, I'm trying really hard to cover questions that I run into pretty often, um, both by text or email, um, or it's just people coming in and looking at RVs. Um, but one thing I think that's really fantastic is this full length mirror. So for those of you who aren't familiar with our videos, that's Jody. He is the man with a plan, the most fantastic camera crew ever. Um, but so that full length mirror is really nice. And then something else that you get with the Dutch star that you wouldn't get with some of the other uh, levels of RV is you've got this chair rail here with this full dark gray mirror as well. So lots of uh, places just to make sure that you're looking the way you'd like to before you head out for the day. Um, I love that we have uh, not only all of this wardrobe hanging space in the back, but these two additional wardrobes up front. Um, someone mentioned to me the other day, they're like, God, that is a really nice television. And it is, it's a 43K or 43 inch uh, 4K smart TV by Samsung. And it is a really nice television, but I just love this too, these full extension drawers. If you can imagine trying to like wiggle something in if they didn't come all the way out, but they come all the way out. So just another smart design, you know, by Numar, giving you everything that you need. Now you will note that I have uh, behind us, I've got the day shade pulled and I'm using that with the, with the power shades. And I can actually put all of those up with a touch of a button throughout the entire coach. And then behind us, the control for the awning uh, off of the bedroom is right here, but I have this awning, um, deployed. 
Then as you can see, I can change the pitch of it, but it's really keeping all of the sun out of the RV, helping us to be uh, cooler because it's a really hot day. Um, so again, just really nice storage here with these additional wardrobes. And then you have all of these LED lights throughout the coach. So if you would like to be able to get up in the morning, maybe you're going hiking at Rocky Mountain and you've got to get up before five to get into the park. Super nice that you can do that. As you can see here, great space to be able to charge a laptop, keep your jewelry. And there is a 110, dual 110 outlets up here as well. So another place that you can use to charge in your coach. Now, if you want to come around here, Jody, we are going to put the slides in today. Hopefully I'll remember to put all of them in so I can show you the walking space. I always talk about it half the time I forget, but I wanted to cover the heating of the floor. So you have bedroom floor heat, high, medium, and low. So what's nice about that is you have a hydronic heating system in this coach, but if you want to keep just a nice warm temperature under your toesies, maybe it's a little chilly, but you don't feel like you need to run your hydronic heat or your heat pumps, uh, you can go ahead and just use your in-floor heating. So that's a very nice feature on this coach. And then the other thing I really like is I'm going to turn the dresser lights or the accent lights off. So Jody, if you will just hone in on that accent light there to the left of the bed, look at how beautiful this is. Isn't that just stunning? So if you can imagine, you can turn off your ceiling lights and your dresser lights and you can really have this like just nice light glow in your bedroom. Um, so this coach has, you know, just beautifully decorated ceilings. Um, I had a client who reached out to me over the weekend who had watched my Numar 2023 uh, London Air versus Essex video and he said, God, you know, why don't you spend more time talking about these decorative ceilings? And the truth of the matter is the reason we forget to talk about them is because we take them for granted. But when you walk into a Numar, um, if you know RVing, you know the difference when you walk into one of these coaches. And that's Numar's tagline, and it's really appropriate because there's not really another manufacturer out there that does luxury as well as Numar does. Um, they kind of set the, set the bar for quality. And um, one of the things that I really respect about their game is they're consistent. They've been doing this the same way for decades. They take great care of their clients. Um, you know, at the factory, they're one of the only manufacturers that I've ever heard of that actually has an in-house facility for you to have your coach serviced. So if you need to get an oil change or have a repair done, they're not afraid to, um, to meet you face to face, to welcome you into their facility. And I've never been there personally. Um, I do have a Numar Superstar. Uh, it's a 2022 and I'm learning so much by just using it on the regular. And it is such a nice RV, but I have heard that when you get there, not only do you have this beautiful facility where they check you in, they've got parking out front, 50 amp plugins, hookups so that you can be comfortable. They bring your coach in during the day and bring it back out for you to camp at night. But there's a foreman or a leader to the team that comes in and helps to address any issues that you have. So they really have a great program for dealing with the public. And I think that what that speaks to is, you know, if you can imagine if you'd bought an RV from another manufacturer saying, hey, I'm going to come to your manufacturing plant so you can fix, you know, my, my pivoting door or something along those lines, they'd be like, uh, yeah, go to your dealership, go to, go to your nearest, you know, dealership representative, have them fix it. They're the person who contacts you. So the fact that Numar is willing to have FaceTime with their clients really speaks volumes of the quality of their company. We have another question. Oh, sure. We have another question. Does the Ventana also have a full-size mirror behind the sliding door like this one does? No. Okay, repeat the question. Uh, the Ventana does not have a full-size sliding mirror. Now, just so the Superstar and the Ventana are very similar, my solution to that is I've ordered three uh, insets that will actually fit into the paneling of my pocket door, and I'm literally going to uh, use the same type of application to Im install them into my door, but I am having to do an aftermarket upgrade uh, to, do, to do that. So that is one of the differences between the Ventana and, uh, and the Numar. And I'll show you the pantry, which is another one in just a second, but good question. So no, that they, they does not have that same door, but I can make that happen for you and it's a lot less. <laughs> okay, so um, again, this is our mid-bath. We've got a nice GFI grounded uh, dual 110 outlets here. So if you wanted to blow dry your hair, use your heat, uh, your heat iron here to get ready in the morning. Maybe you get up before your husband. And then up here we have, I think, something that also speaks volumes to the coach. Um, so look at the level of 
you know, just detail and professionalism executed here by Numar in labeling all of their uh, circuit breakers. You've got your floor heat uh, reset. You've got, you know, so it's, it's just, it's so cool that you can see where all of your GFI grounds are. And if you can see all of your fuses are very clearly labeled, there's a key here. Um, so just once again, uh, really, really fantastic execution by our manufacturer. Another porcelain Dometic toilet as well. And then here, once again, shade control in the center loo. Just a really nice feature. If you get in here and you need to open the blinds, you don't necessarily want to open the door, walk out you know, in front of all the company. Uh, you can do that. And then uh, for that person who called in earlier, here's your other Dometic um, fan that you've got that's also rain sensor. Uh, of course, I would be remiss not to mention the beautiful vessel sink that you have here over your Corian countertops. You're beautifully inlaid and aluminum trimmed, you know, the whole way around, uh, tile, glass, backsplash, fantastic amount of storage down here. And then you'll see below what they've done is so smart. They've integrated your central vac right here. So the hose that you can use that goes in here um, is underneath the cab but it will vacuum all the way to the front and the rear from the middle of the coach and that's why they've chosen this location now you'll notice this door pivots um, this is such a smart design this allows us to have a much bigger threshold while the coach is in motion and it also allows us to be able to pivot this bathroom so that we can have full access to this 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator look at the size of this residential refrigerator I mean, so, and again, this is a coach that has every single option that we can come up with on it because we just don't have a lot of available inventory coming in these days. So when we had an opportunity to build this coach, I love that they've chosen the Bahama interior. As you can see, the Bahama is just one of those coaches that has a darker leather. Um, the Villa furniture, of course, always has such a nice handle to it. But if you've got a little more traffic, this is such a nice color, it's gonna be very forgiving. Now this is something else that I've noted. Um, I have lights uh, that I have to turn on and off in my pantry and then the Dutch star, they come on automatically. You still have this fantastic full extension push release. Um, and I always tell people on these videos that these are adjustable shelves. They are not as easy to adjust as I thought they would be. As you can see, they're kind of mounted here in the back. So if you're handy, you can remove these and, and, and actually move them up and down. But please note that if you are specific in where you'd like to have them, it might behoove you to ask us to do that for you in advance. And of course you have six total shelves for a ton of pantry space. Um, my shelves in the Superstar, because it's a bunk model, are about this wide. And I mean, I honestly have struggled to fill them up. We have so much room in that RV. It's really, really nice. Um, so now that we're past this midsection, let's go ahead and continue on to the kitchen before we get into the dining area. Um, Look at these shelves. So all of these are hardwood. Um, so these maple um, finishes, or these maple cabinets are so uh, sturdy and strong. Of course you have these rubbish shelf extensions which are so nice because they can get all the way into the back. Uh, you've got your Fulton color uh, code. So the exterior of this coach is Fulton. The interior of this is Bahama. And again, this is a staple matte finish. Um, and we do a lot of the high gloss too. I'm a fan of both. I just like dark cabinets personally. Um, I think it really gives the coach a lot of, um, it's a lot of dramatic, you know, you know, uh, color hues where it's very, very tuxedo, if you will. Um, so I just think it's fantastic. A little spice rack up top. And of course, this is a huge uh, microwave and convection oven. Uh, I do have a lot of people who ask questions. How do you cook? really easily so first of all this is large enough to hold a whole bird uh, William Sonoma has a really cool uh, thing that you can get and you basically it's, it's a clay pot that you soak in water and uh, you can put the whole thing in this oven and since this is convection it keeps that chicken from drying out or whatever else you can use it to make fish um, I've been using one for years but it's great for camping so if you haven't seen that before you could actually prepare a whole entire meal uh, in one pot it'll steam all your rice and cook all your chicken all at the same time and it just comes out easily at once it's a great way to go um, and you can also use this to microwave a burrito if you want so that both functions work um, I love this about the 4369 um, so nice to have a place where you can permanently stow you know your coffee maker and your grinder um, we actually don't have this so we use a um, French press because we don't have a place to keep our coffee maker it's easier 
If I had that, I would absolutely have my bun coffee maker. Um, Newmar does such a nice job integrating your cutting boards into your RV. And something really worth mentioning is that not only do you have this fantastic true induction cooktop where when you turn it on, it won't work if you take the pot off of the surface. So in other words, if the pot's removed, the burner's not still on. But even when the burner's on, you could put a paper towel down on this, put your pot down, and it would boil water faster than if you had like this state-of-the-art highest cone, you know, best open flame. So this is a really nice thing. And when you're camping, of course, you're going through different elevations. So you've got different levels of oxygen. This is a very consistent form of power and a very consistent form of heat. You can actually set this to temperature. So if you're searing something, you can get it to really high temperature that's consistent so that you can get that nice sear on there. And then if you don't want to burn something, you can set it nice and low at 250 and get a really nice gradual cook. So for those of you who are you know, part of those pampered chef clubs and really spending a lot of time doing gourmet cooking, you can do that on the road with this, with this cooktop as well. And then you can even do it outside with your friends. So it's fully removable. There's a ton of outlets underneath outside that you can use. And it's just one of the best aspects of this coach. I love the true induction, but the fact that it's removable really sets it apart from other manufacturers. It's the only brand that I know that offers that feature. Um, now I do have our under cabinet lights going on here. You have another one here as well. And then you also have a fan. So if you wanted to be able to cook something inside, you could, uh, but also if you didn't want to cook something inside, you wouldn't have to because you could take it outside. You could make all your bacon, all your fish, any of those things outside. Now, um, in terms of cooking, of course, we'll just show a little more cabinet space. Once again, really nice deep cabinets, carpet lined, adjustable shelves, no rattles. You don't need to install anything uh, to keep those rattles down. It's already been taken care of for you. And then the 4369 has this fantastic kitchen uh, where you got your you know, big galley here, but you have this extendable uh, Le uh, island that comes out with two huge drawers in it and of course again these are all soft clothes and when you put this in there's just a little button right up here and it slides right in and gets out of your way but just nice nice extra counter space and then your silverware drawer is very large lots of room for spatulas any of those things um, if you slide this forward we have all of our little um, pot holders and everything back here so Great layout. Um, it's been kind of fun to move into this. Very different than the Renegade from its setup. Um, also in that we have a really nice uh, dishwasher. And then this has those glass racks and it has the plate racks as well. So, I mean, this is as nice as a residential dishwasher that you'd find in your own house. In fact, I'm sure that this is a Fisher Pagel that you might find, you know, one or two of those in a nice island at a very high end home. Um, now let's go ahead. My favorite drawer, of course, we'll talk about is the scrubby drawer. I love the dual basin sink with a shallow side to do vegetables and the deeper side to wash pots and pans. Residential faucet head, again, that beautiful dark finish. And then as you'll see here, you get these nice places to stow those kitchen covers so that when you are on the road and you are using your kitchen, you've got a place to keep your covers, all of your cleaning supplies, and then this is another nice feature. You get this nice little trash can, and then it also has that full extension so you can use the space behind as well. Um, if you get an Essex, you get a stainless steel trash can insert. Um, you know, for an Essex price point, you better get a, I don't know, really nice trash can, a little bunch of other really nice stuff. If you don't watch all of my videos, by the way, I do a lot of really in-depth videos. Um, I just did a comparison vehicle video to the 2023 Essex and London Air um, that I'm pretty pleased with. And I think I'll do a comparison video between the 2023 Dutch Stars next, as long as this one's still available, because there's a lot of benefits to 22. Um, okay, so more space here, of course, as you can see, that would be fantastic, especially with its location for maybe a few cubbies with dice games and um, some, some stuff that you might do around, uh, around the table, but also for wine glasses and tumblers. Uh, so for me, uh oh, there we go. I keep um, my I keep my plates underneath uh, in my dinette area. So I actually keep my bowls and plates underneath the table because for me that's like the most natural place to set the table. Um, that's also people use it as a bread drawer quite frequently. 
And then I wanted to show you the potential uh, for this island. Now keep in mind, this island has two of these. So the full extension for this is absolutely huge. And I'm not gonna pull it all the way out because there's another, there's a leg that drops, but I'll pull it most of the way out. So you can see all the way out here with this extra chair, you really have a lot of room for a bunch of people to sit down and have dinner. You can really easily sit, si sit six and very comfortably sit four. So a great place to play cards at the end of the night. Um, great place to have a dinner party. Um, get your chips and dip out. I also like that with this uh, extended bowl dinette, this is stationary. So if you wanted to keep, for instance, we would keep our French press right here and our cream and sugar. Just a nice place to do that. I am going to slide this all the way in and underneath. And you'll see why we do that later when we put those slides in with this more floor. Um, okay, so two more 110 outlets. And then if you didn't notice, there's also USB ports here. So if you are sitting at the dining room table and you want to charge your phone, charge your laptop, you can do all of that right there. And then here on these uh, theater seats, uh, we have a recliner option as well as a theater seat option. These theater seats are so decadent. And I actually have a lot of people who ask me how far back they extend and if you could sleep on them. So for me, I can only sleep in complete dark on a very hard mattress. So this would not be my comfortable setting. Um, my boyfriend, on the other hand, yeah, he would be out in about 13 seconds. So I think the answer is it depends on how hardy you are of a sleeper. But for most, the answer would be absolutely yes. Now, there's also a USB port here in the control on each side so each person has those you've got really nice cup holders and the sx these are rainbow colored and you can change the colors um look at all the storage here so much storage here um great place to keep of course your remotes now what remote is this do you ask okay so this is the remote where i have it set to all all day all night so let's do all day up Oh no, I wanted to do all day down. I want to do all night up. There we go, all night up. So this is so cool. With a touch of a button, I can put all the shades up. I can also do them individually. Um, so I love that. But back here, I wanted to also show you, again, I have this really fantastic shade drawn. So this is your carefree awning package. And it's so nice because it's going to keep the sun out of the RV, even on the driver's side where you don't have that fully integrated Gerard awning uh, system, uh, which we do have deployed today as long as it hasn't gotten too windy. Now, um, Avin's going to open all the compartments for us today, but you're going to be in for quite a treat because I love um, that, the fact that we did the Bahama interior uh, on the interior, but also we have a really fun Fulton exterior. Now look at all of this storage space. Again, all carpet lined, great place to keep board games. Uh, we do a lot of you know, cubbies that we use a label maker to you know, label with batteries, flashlights, kitchen supplies for outdoors, etc. cetera. Um, and then once again, all of your light controls are here and you can turn these down so that you don't um, have them as bright by hitting this high low button. So I've just dimmed the lights a little bit. It's, for maybe when you're um, camping and it's evening time and you don't want it so bright in the coach, it's nice to have two settings. Um, now, with the theater seating in the Dutch Star, because you've got these opposing uh, seating areas, first of all, you have a total of four recliners, right? And a really comfortable place where people can sit down next to the table and watch television. And on top of it, you still have this great bed. So, um, for you that are looking for, oh, let's think about this, Katie. There it is. For you that are looking for something that can give you uh, sleeping accommodations for littles or even for friends on the road, this is such a nice layout because you still have a queen size bed. And this trifold is so comfortable. So for those of you who wonder, ooh, is that gonna be that comfy? Absolutely. Super, super comfortable setup. Um, I love that this is all one piece. So I'm a big fan. Um, if you watch my videos, you know I don't like to have to move the cushions in stacks. Probably because I get out of breath doing it. But yeah, super.
super comfy. If your bun is big, it won't fit, but yeah. Um, now I'm only 5'4". With my bun, I'm like 5'9". But uh, yeah, I could be comfortable here. I sleep on my side. I get a lot of people who try on beds like this, they go, and I'm like, do you sleep like that? Because I sleep like this. <laughs> but this is a really comfortable bed. And I like the fact that this uh, placement for your hip is right underneath and then your shoulders also solid. So you don't feel like you've got a lot of bends in the wrong spots. So great, great sleeping accommodations. Now, of course, there's a rule in RVing. We have drinks for uh, six, dinner for four, and it sleeps two. Um, which is exactly how this coach is, but in a pinch, certainly a really nice uh, extra bed. Okay, and if you didn't see how I did that, whew, there's a little release right here that you have to keep up. There we go. And Bob Tapper, if you're watching, that was a successful execution of a convertible couch to bed execution. Bob Tapper makes fun of me on every single video and I'm sure he still will. Hi, Bob. Okay, so more of this beautiful decorative ceiling. Wanted to talk about that. Love the color of this Bahama interior. Super fun and festive. Um, if you don't want to have a big TV in your bedroom, or I'm sorry, in your living room, you can put that 50K or 50 inch 4K TV down as you can see, it's a huge television. Um, I can't speak highly enough of this sound bar. Great sound. Uh, we don't give you a free Blu-ray any longer because people just don't use them a lot. They use a lot of their 4Ks, but everything is set up with HDMI cords. Very easy to run. If you wanted to put a Wally system in here, you could do that too. And then just more storage. Now, something I failed to mention, and I will talk about it, is um, Numar has given us an all lights off switch above the bed. So that's a really, really nice feature. In the 2022 model, there's a button and you push it and it says all lights off. Oh, that was all lights accent. No, I have to do it in there. So I'm gonna go in there and do it. So just so you can see how it works. Cause there is, look at these like, do you see these little, I mean, what a great touch that is. So cool to have courtesy lights. But yeah, I'm gonna do all lights off. So there you go, so all lights off. Now that is so cool because if you've ever been camping where you forgot one light on, you get your slippers on, go back to the front of the coach, turn everything off, you don't have to do that anymore. Okay, so we talked about having everything, right? One of the everythings that I really like a lot is that my camera control. I really like this 360 degree camera. As you can see, I have the engine cover open in the back, but you can see behind me, if I'm parking and I've got a door open, I can see my bay doors are open. I mean, this is just such a nice feature. Now, when you turn left, your left camera turns on, your right camera turns on. When you back up, your rear camera's on. You can drive down the freeway with your back camera on, but I just love this additional 360 feature. I think that that's so nice. Oh, so, I didn't mean to do that, but I might as well, ready? Like they definitely know you're coming. You don't need to install an aftermarket train horn. Um, but let's just do this. Now, just to give you a warning, I don't know if you saw this on the way in, we have this coach leveled in a very unlevel parking lot. So the front right wheel is way off the ground. Um, it's gonna beep at me because I've got my jacks deployed and I'm starting the engine. It's not gonna like that. I'm just gonna do this quickly so I can show you this glass dash. There's that screaming sound. She's not happy about running. But I want to get down here to gauges. And I just want to show you to where we get to vehicle configuration. This is where I can change my steering effort. So I can change this so that my comfort drive is either higher or lower. And then also I can set that I have my distance control for my cruise control so I can follow and track a coach in front of me. And then I also have a lane tracking package. So I can change my units. 
Um, so if I want to be in metric or standard, I can do those types of things. I know we get a lot of people who ask about that. Um, here's road watch. There's my cruise control settings. So I can set it to 3.3 3 or 3.6 seconds for following distance. Um, but that's enough of the noise for right now. Um, on that glass dash, you also have a digital speed readout, uh, which I think is really nice. And then, of course, all of your gauges are right up there in front. Um, I think another nice thing that worth mentioning is that you have your stock control. So your Allison transmission is still Allison, but it's a nice stock control system. And you also have your, uh, your, 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 your um, three-stage engine brake instead of a two-stage. So I like that as well. A uh, difference between a Ventana Dutch Star independent front suspension. Um, you're still going to have V-Ride on both coaches. V-Ride basically takes your um, your axles and, and push and goes out so that you have more stability because instead of being in the center, they're out. They kind of come in like a wishbone, hence the word V-Ride. And that gives you better stability going around mountain turns. Comfort Drive is going to be standard on any of our diesel pushers. Um, so like in a Ventana, Comfort Drive is the same as what you saw it is here. That, what that does is that um, turning it into high would make my wheel stay more straight, depending on, or even in a higher wind force or a higher uh, you know, gale force wind pushing me to the right or to the left, it would keep my wheel straight, uh, straighter, if you will. Um, if I had it set lower, I would have less, um, less rigidity in the steering um, for comfort drive. So for people who have driven long distances cross country, one of the major differences in drying, uh, driving um, a Newmar product, whether it be either Freightliner or Spartan, uh, this is a Freightliner chassis. Um, I'm a big Freightliner chassis fan. If you want to talk about the differences and why, please feel free to reach out to me at 303-562-8659. Um, but so this chassis um, equipped with comfort drive makes a fantastic difference, uh, really reducing driver fatigue because you're not fighting the road. This wheel, steering wheel wants to stay straight and you can turn it up when it gets really ugly out and you're you know, maybe going across I-80 you know, it's the winds are just hitting you instead of looking like Popeye when you get out of the RV you're nice and comfortable you haven't been stressed out driving the entire time it just really takes a lot of that load off um, so that's a that's a really big thing um, one of the things that's interesting about the Dutch Star was when you get up over 40 feet you've got a tag axle um, so that makes it really easy to park and drive so I was actually moving this thing oh look at there's a person in the engine that's kind of funny hi customer <laughs> he's taking a look that's awesome. Um, <laughs> security camera. Uh, no, so um, so it, I was ha I was pulling this out of a really tight spot this morning. Um, this coach has not been PDI'd yet. It's just been literally rinsed off by uh, Chad, who is probably the hardest working individual at our store. He makes sure everything looks you know bullets for us. Um, but I took it out of a technician's bay this morning before he had a chance to PDI it. So this is kind of original equipment, how it looks. Like everything works. It's just really nice to see. Um, but it was a really tight spot and it was really easy. I mean, I, like you could literally steer this with your finger. Um, so for those of you that are intimidated by these longer coaches, getting that second, um, that second axle in the back, that tag axle that pivots actually makes it easier to drive this coach. And it also gives you some buoyancy. So, you know, you get a 15,000 pound uh, towing capacity on this coach. Um, you've got, you know, a 450 horsepower engine you know you've got 1250 foot pounds of torque so this is a really capable coach it's very nice to drive um when, so, but when you're flat towing you won't feel that uh that that tow vehicle as much because of the fact that you have that second axle giving you that buoyancy so that you don't feel those bumps um as much going down the road so that's a really cool feature um so we talked a little bit about steering wheel controls i love that for not only you know, setting your systems, but also answering your phone, changing your radio station, etc. turning your volume up and down. Uh, here's your light control, parking brake, um, just some auxiliary uh, USB inputs right here. You even have like this old fashioned one that if you wanted to listen to your dictaphone, you could. I don't know what that's for, really. <laughs> Jody's laughing at me. <laughs> a dictaphone. We've never said that in, the, in a video before. Um, okay, so, oh, let's talk about this. Okay, so we did talk about the HWH uh, leveling jacks. So what Numar recommends in the book is that when you get to wherever you are and you are still aired up, you put your, your slides out because that's how the slides are designed with the coach full of air driving down the road. Then when you actually park, you can either do manual dump, which will dump just the rear axle, the air in the rear axle, or you can do what I did today, which is auto level. That will not only dump the, the rear, 
but also level the coach. We don't level a lot. Um, most of the time we don't feel it's necessary, but we almost always do the manual dump so that we put the airbags, uh, so we lower the air in the airbags so that we don't find ourselves in a wonky position later on in the day. We kind of know where the coach is sitting, and then at that point we can decide whether or not we're going to use this. But as you will see here, it says HWH. So this is a hydraulic leveling system, and this hydraulic leveling system is what allows us also to have the more floor. So once again, we talked a little bit about this more floor. Um, the more floor that you see back here, the reason it works is because we actually are going to bring that in right now so you can see how this does it. But what it does is it actually lifts the entire slide up above the tile. So let's go ahead and bring that in. Look, at I got that little chair just precariously positioned along the flashing. You need to make sure your chair is up far enough. Um, of course, I'm not very tall, so it's easy for me. Uh, but if you are a taller fellow, then make sure you move that chair forward before you bring your slides in. So this is the reason that you can have an all tile floor. As you can see, this hydraulic leveling system has actually raised the floor up off of the coach. Now this is electric on this side. Um, and that's one of the changes you'll find in 2023, our Essex has hydraulics on both sides. So this is, a, this is a system that we're not only fans of, but it works so well for us that we're actually expanding our use of it in the marketplace. Jody, if you just pop over a bit to the right one last second, I am gonna go ahead and bring in this other slide. And so this is a question that we get a lot. Can I open the refrigerator? Can I access the cabinets? You know, do I, do I, have, room to, do I have room to access all the things that I would like to access um, on my RV when I'm driving down the road? And the answer is yes, but don't, let me, don't, take it for, don't take my word for it. Let me show it to you. So turn some of these lights on, nice light glow. So even with this chair here, I can still get by um, but I have access, oh, there she goes, to my refrigerator. I can get into both sides, both doors at the same time. I have access to my freezer. I have access to my pantry. Uh, did I not put the bedroom slide in? I thought I did. Well, heck. I'm going to put this bedroom slide in. I really want to get a nice picture of the Fulton exterior because it's a really beautiful exterior. Um, one of the things that's nice about Fulton is it's going to be really, really, um, it's understated, it's not presumptuous, it's very classy, and it's also going to hide dirt really well. So we really like this Fulton exterior. What else have I not covered? Oh, interior height, I got that written down. Interior width, or exterior width is 101 inches wide. Uh, this coach is 13 feet, uh, one inch tall. And then, did I get that the whole way? There we go. Um, I also wanted to show you this, so access to the bathroom going down the road. Hey, so super simple there. Just really nice that I can get in and out of this RV very easily. Um, now, of course, you would keep your chair folded up and underneath if you were doing it um, to actually hit the road, but for today's demonstration purposes, that's enough. Let's just show the step cover. So I think that that's important. So we love that. We got our nice step cover. We also have oops. If you are driving and you want to have your feet extended, you have plenty of room to have your your uh, recliner extended. So we like that too. So really comfortable driving down the road. Uh, you'll note here that I also have this really fantastic workstation. So this is super cool. A uh, nice little drink holder, get some work done, get the iPad out, find our next camping destination. That's cool. Um, also, once again, we talk a lot about outlets, but two more USB ports here, two more 110 outlets, wireless charging dock here as well. we'll bring that bad boy back in. We've got some more stuff to show you here in the center. Um, gosh, okay, so over here you can see we've got a whole bunch of different things that we're doing so i've got my generator start stop i've got my visor control so i can put my visors down 
right here. So all of this stuff right here, um, you've got your three camera, 360 camera select, um, front fan, so it still has the little fans even though it doesn't have the physical, you know, identifications of them. Um, and then docking lights, all your visor controls for the rest of the cab as well. But up here is where you have the brains of the system. So we talked briefly about um, some of the differences that we have uh, in these later coaches. And one of them is we've got a really nice digital display here with tanks. So I can see what I've got in terms of fresh gray and black water. I can also turn my water pump on and off. I can see what kind of uh, power I have coming out of that generator. And so where my batteries are sitting. Uh, this is gonna have a, um, can I get there, there we go. This is going to have uh, eight, 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 100, eight, 8, 100, 8, 100 AGM batteries. So you've got 800 amp hours of batteries. Um, and then you can see here, we also have our HVAC system. So right now I am running uh, your air conditioning. It's 79 inside. It was actually 90 when we got in here at the beginning of the video. So we're doing much better. <laughs> uh, your slide controls are up here. Uh, I've got all the lights on today, so that should be kind of fun. I've got all of the, um, docking lights and everything turned on. Here's your power control. You guys can't see these things. Um, so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of going on to it, but it's just telling you if your water heat's on, if your block heater's on, what's running. Um, and then this is where you're gonna control all of those uh, little awnings we talked about, except for the one that's controlled in the bedroom. And up here you have your wine guard, of course, your security lights, which I meant to have on. I'll turn this back on. Your Oasis system is uh, your hydronic water system. So this is not only your hot water with your tankless hot water heat, but it's also heating that uh, tube of um, hydraulic fluid, hydronic fluid underneath that's uh, blowing air over it, heating your coach uh, with um, your hydronic system in addition to your electric heated floors. So two separate systems for heat above and beyond your three heat pumps. Um, and of course we mentioned earlier, you've got three air conditioners. Uh, here we have Oh, do we have you on? There we go. We have our, our wine guard system here. This is going to tell us how many uh, TV stations we have locally. So this is a Razor antenna. So we've got 19 stations coming in. Uh, this is your Gerard awnings. Uh, this is where you turn your lights on and off. This is where you put your uh, awnings controls in and out. And then here, you know, what's nice about this, we've got a much better device list right now. So we've got all of our notifications come up and read. Um, so, you know, one of the things that Numar has been able to do is go in and give us better digital access to the brains of the coach. And all of that's right here in this very nice, small setting. Um, as you can see, another 43 inch 4K TV. Uh, this is a great place to keep your baseball hats. So if you haven't uh, seen my 40, 20, 2022 Dutch star video, that's kind of a funny, funny uh, mention. Go back and find it. I think I'm up to, this should be 97 videos right now that have gone live. Um, so we're making a lot of progress and getting information out there for you. Uh, this is my second 2022 4369 video. So if you'd like to see just another take on this coach, you can. That one has a little bit more in terms of measurements. Um, I love this, hand me the groceries without letting Fifi out. Hand me a beer without letting Fifi out. So two different levels there. And then we're gonna go ahead and hop out here, but on our way down, I wanna mention a few different things. First of all, um, patio lights are right here. So I've got those turned on. This is your lock and unlock button for your uh, bays underneath. This is a really, really nice feature. Coming from a coach um, that did not have this, um, it's really nice not to have to have keys to lock and unlock all of your bay doors. And just hit the unlock button, everything's open. Um, this control here is for your Gerard awnings. So we will use this outside. And then before we head out all the way, look at all of this storage. So for those of you who travel with pets, great place to keep dog food um, and water dishes and leashes. For those of you who have children, you can keep water balloons and things like that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's go ahead and hop out. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, got a little tickle in my throat. Okay, so you don't have to bring your keys with you. You also have a doorbell. And this lights up so you can find your coach at night. And you know what, before we go too far, I'm gonna go around here real quick. 
I'm gonna pop this hood and I'm gonna turn the generator off because we don't need the air conditioning anymore. So, oh, if you wanted to see that, there's your 10K generator. So another nice feature that you have in the Dutch Star, when you get that 43 foot, you have a 10 kilowatt Owen and diesel generator. If you've got a 40 foot, you've got an eight kilowatt, which is still a ton. Um, but take a look at this. <laughs> if it doesn't translate, there you go. I mean, really uneven surface. That coach feels very flat on the inside. Uh, dual fill 150 gallon def or fuel tank. So this is one side. You've got a uh, paired fill station on the other side as well. Again, 150 gallons uh, in this Dutch Star. As you can see here, we have gotten, as mentioned, every option available known to mankind. Uh, this year, 2022, we added this nice tray above the Dometic so you're not wasting space. And this is a really nice refrigerator freezer combo. You can set this however you like. So this is a very nice model. Uh, this is the CFX. And we mentioned that we had a lot of outlets. There's another 110 here. There's the nine volt here that is powering the Dometic. Another great place to air up your paddle boards as well. And then if you look up, I have all of our little LED lights on and I have both of our awnings de deployed. And it's really keeping the sun off of me right now. Um, my general manager came to me before the video and he said, I think we're gonna need to start earlier during the summer because it gets too hot. And I was like, Andrew, it's totally fine. The air conditioning in these RVs works fantastic. And when we're outside, we've got these fantastic awnings. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like Jody gets the benefit of all that sun protection. Uh, <laughs> these are a thousand pound weight rated, really nice um, manual trays. I, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you'll know I prefer manual just because they're faster. They're easier in and out. Um, they have a 60% extension, so even when this full slide is out, you can still have access to everything underneath. So 150k TV, oh, it's locked. This is a 43 foot, not a 43 foot, 43 inch uh, 4K smart TV. All of the TVs are Samsung, they're all smart TVs. Uh, you can use Hulu, Netflix, whatever you'd like. You can run your you know, satellite receiver, whatever makes you comfortable. And then there's a sound bar in here you can run off of the radio. Uh, to the coach or off of your phone or to watch a movie so very nice setup there another really gigantic uh, slide tray so we have all of the slides uh, on this coach i'll open this one from the other side um, but as you can see just tons of storage underneath more outlets um, all of your uh, all of your overrides for your uh, awnings um, as you can see everything again very very clearly labeled. These are the tubes and uh, the controllers, or not controllers, but um, attachments for your central vac. And then here's your road vac main hub. And so you can use that uh, extension again inside in that bathroom, or you can use it here outside, of course. So like Brian says to vacuum out your tow vehicle. I say to vacuum off your children. I don't know. He doesn't have kids yet, but he'll learn very soon. That's important. Uh, so behind here is where we have actually water tanks. So we don't waste that space. We do give you a very nice shelving unit. And again, uh, this coach has got 75 gallons of gray water, 55 gallons of black water, and 105 gallons of fresh water. So uh, great, great capacities. And then of course, a 105 gallon fresh water capacity with that aquamizer system really allows you to have almost 100 gallons, if you will, of gray water because you're recycling that water before you get into the shower instead of having to, have, instead of having to wait for it to heat up. Oh. Um, this is a pegboard system too, so if you wanted to hang things out here, you really could do that as well. Uh, so I know we've talked about this already. Here's that tag axle, so you can always tell which of the wheels pivots because it's out. So these Alcoa rims are aluminum. Uh, that's gonna be good for not getting as hot. It's going to be quieter, less vibration. So very important aspect of why this coach handles so nice and quietly on the road. Um, but so this is, a, this is going to be a forward rolling wheel. So you'll see, for instance, on a lot of like the Supreme Airs, you'll see that both of them are inset like this. That's because they're twin screw. They're both forward rolling and they don't pivot. But this back wheel is a tag. And so you'll see that that has it like an anybody, an Ill, any belly button and an Audi belly button is kind of what I like to equate them to. So this tag in the back actually has a pin um, that releases and allows that wheel to pivot. 
so the pin comes in, the wheel can pivot, and it really gives you a much, much uh, smaller turning radius, and it's much easier to park this RV. Uh, so here's your def tank back here. Uh, this is also dual fill. And then here you have your chassis battery. So this is where you turn your chassis on and off. There's two batteries right here. And then below that, this whole tank right here is where we actually uh, burn off the particulates for your, from your diesel generator, making this a clean, efficient vehicle. So this is a clean burning diesel. Uh, it's got a lot of benefits to the environment. So let's see if we can go channel two, channel one. So I wanted to bring these in today because I wanted to, um, I just turned the lights off too. I wanted to show you um, these integrated gutter rails. So one of the things that's really interesting about this coach is that you have this um, huge platform up top, but you'll see in just a second when these are done rolling in, you can't really see the uh, air conditioning units. You can't see solar panels. You can't see any of those things. Um, and that is because they have a rain system in this coach that so actually is inset quite a bit, almost like 12 inches around. So they give this nice uniform look across the entire top of the coach. And then everything's protected on the inside. So going down the road, your, your air conditioners, your, uh, your um, fans in your bathrooms, they're not exposed to the elements. They're all set and hidden underneath on the inside of this coach. And they also have a rain gutter system that helps to control where the water is draining so you don't have unsightly lines. It's all controlled and draining from one point. So really, really nice feature of the Numar products in general. Uh, they do this across the line. Now here in the back, as I mentioned earlier, we are on the Freightliner chassis. This is a 450 horsepower Cummins. Uh, it's all red, so you'll see the very beautiful marriage of Cummins to Freightliner in the, this back bay. As you can see, very easy engine access. And if you can imagine when you were standing in that bathroom, that's where that cover accesses uh, that front portion of this huge engine. Um, again, fantastic power here, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, I've got a lot of people that uh, don't know how important it is, but uh, Freightliner, they Uh -oh. You're good. You're good. I'm back? Okay. Yep. I did something to the mic. Sorry, folks. Uh, so your 7-pin connector is back here. Performance. Here. So on the right-hand side there, you'll see the Oasis system. That's where your juice is for your Oasis system. If you mention that you've seen this video, you will be able to have, I will give you a gallon of that Oasis fluid. Really important, if I don't give you a gallon, buy one. It's really hard to have Amazon drop that off to you in the middle of this equipment. It powers your hydronic system. Now, the only reason I could see uh, that engine, and this is the difference between the Ventana and the Dutch Star, is here is your radiator. It's here on the side. So very nice feature there. Again, we mentioned that we would have dual fill for your DEF. Uh, this coach has the optional SantaCon system. That's another differentiation between the two models. Uh, this system here, or this uh, cubby here, is a great place to keep your black water hose uh, and some gloves. You don't need it on this coach per se, maybe just the gloves, because we have the SantaCon system here in this water bay. Um, this is a fantastic water bay. It's so nice. You've got a place here for your paper towels. You've got an outdoor shower with hot and cold water. As you can see, you've got your um, sewage rinse right here, and it's really, really easy to set it to manual fill or to, to city. Um, also, you've got your whole house water filter here, and then your uh, water supply is also on a power reel. So just a really cool, uh, really cool system. Very, very nicely labeled, very, very clean layout. Um, you know, we've done this for so long. I think Numar's really kind of figured out how to make it easy for people to be able to be out and camping and feel like it's not a lot of work. Um, and that's important, you know, you want this to be a fun experience where you get there, you plug in, you put your water in, you pop out your slides and you pop a beer, you know, nice and quick. Uh, so your power cord reel is power. Well, that's why it's called a power cord reel. Um, <laughs> there's your power or your reel button right there. 
It's 50 feet long. Uh, the optional surge protectors in there as well. And then this is the big this is the big dog. So this Oasis system is only offered um, in Newmar. So there are two different companies that do hydronic heat. One of them is going to be Aqua Hot, and the other is Oasis. Um, Oasis is a marine grade uh, tankless hot water heater that's used mostly on vessels. So this is a vessel, right? This is just a land yacht, um, but they only work with Newmar just because they can't supply enough uh, consistently to work with the entire RV industry. But very, very nice system. And this system is a dual loop system giving you even more zone control uh, in 2022 than you had last year. So this is a fantastic tankless hot water heater responsible for not only giving you hot showers with AC1, AC2, and hydronic heat, but also with allowing you to heat your coach without having to have those heat pump runs in really cold temperatures. So this is a much more all season than most of those open market. Um, so as I said earlier, I would show you this slide from the other side just to show you how this comes out because again, you've got this full wall slide and you saw how much room you have when this comes out. So it's really nice to know that you can still access it with your slide out while you're camping. Uh, here's uh, some extra porcelain tile for your porcelain tile floor. Now, one thing that makes a big difference with Numar is gonna be what we call the star foundation. So Jody, if you can go in that next bay, I'm gonna point out the star foundation. So this is the star foundation. And what the star foundation does is it takes this very uh, strong and robust system and it raises the coach off of the chassis rail so you don't feel that going down the road and it creates a level platform in which to build. After they've built the star foundation, they actually take a table and they lay out all of the tile for this coach on a heated table. And there's a three inch subfloor that is uh, moved over and set down on top of the star foundation. And what that does is it reduces tile popping, it reduces heat uh, in the summer, it reduces, reduces cold in the winter, giving you a coach that is quiet going down the road and comfortable in the summer, comfortable in the winter, and uh, just a really, really a luxurious experience. Once again, these are all differentiations in Newmar that you just don't find in other manufacturers and that really make it worth the money to get a better built, higher quality coach from Newmar. Um, of course, there's another slide. As mentioned, uh, this coach does have the optional uh, upgrade where it brings you into an all electric coach as opposed to one with a 50 gallon propane tank. Um, we definitely prefer, prefer all electric over propane just in terms of ease of use. You don't have to pull in to go get more gas if your you know, furnace is running low. You're just running it off a hydronic system, so we do like that. But this 8 AGM battery system, um, whether you have the four panels from Numar uh, for 400 watts of solar or you have four panels that we've installed for 700 watts of solar for about the same money, um, you know, these batteries are filled up very quickly with your solar. So if you're out there boondocking, uh, this is a coach that you can really take off grid very easily because of the battery capacity in this coach. Um, again, dual fill, 150 gallon gas tank. I know we mentioned Alcoa earlier, but look at how nice these rims are. They're so stunning, just so classy looking. Um, Newmar just really knows how to put together a very high quality RV. Um, as you saw earlier, I came over here in this bay to release uh, the cover for the uh, generator. That's the release right there. Again, very, very tidy fuse compartment. Hopefully, you're never using your spare fuses. Everything's always running at 100%, but if you need spare fuses, they're right here in the front compartment. Um, here's that camera. And then, of course, your chrome convex, uh, beautiful uh, exterior mirrors. Huge, huge, gorgeous windshield. Um, Again, access here to your, your generator. Um, I've got the lights turned on right now. You can see the big horns, your big air horns are right down here on the right hand side. Just a very, very cool execution. Again, of the Dutch Star 4369 um, bath and a half floor plan. This is a 2022 Numar Dutch Star floor plan 4369. Uh, this is stock number 5N201. 858 again 5N201858. Please feel free. I am so easy to work with when it comes to pricing, payments, uh, warranty explanations, any of those things. Whatever information you'd like, 
If you like the MSRP, uh, we can't do that online just because we are in so many different platforms that have different restrictions. But I have the window sticker right here. I would be more than happy to share it with you. Reach out to me. I'm Katie O'Neill. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Thank you so much for tuning in today and let us get you on the road and get you camping.